Senate President, uh, thanks for joining me and welcome uh, to the show. I want to ask you first about these judicial vacancies. It's been called a crisis, catastrophic. Is the criticism fair uh, that both the governor's office and the legislature aren't moving quickly enough? You've got three vacancies on the Supreme Court, dozens of superior court vacancies. Is it fair? Well, I think it fails to come into place the 20 additional judgeships we made just a few years ago. So you're using overall vacancy numbers, but it fails to show that we actually have 20 extra judges on those books that we didn't have just about five years ago. So you have to take 20 judgeships off of the vacancy list in order to make it a fair number that we're looking at if you can compare it from year to year, decade to decade. People say we have a record number of vacancies, but the truth of it is we actually have a record number of judges on the bench. Well, that, uh, that said, one, though, Senator, there are still cases that can't be heard, whether it be divorce, custody battles, domestic violence, violence cases. I mean, you know, you hear it from attorneys all the time. We are as well um, that they say justice can't be accessed. Well, I'm a lawyer also, but I can tell you that as the head of the Senate Judiciary Committee for a dozen years and now the president of the Senate, um, we can only consider nominations that are made. We can't initiate nominations. So we're we're vetting them as quickly as we get them. In fact, we were just in last week to do six new judgeships that we received, some of which we just received last second and we jumped to attention and did, I did two interviews on Sunday of people. So that doesn't mean that we're not moving at a really quick pace. Uh, so we've bent over in order to make sure that people are vetted quickly but we can't we can't get away from an extraordinarily important vetting process because these people get on these benches generally for life you did hold a session uh, a special session to get the ball rolling there but there are still 11 uh, by our count nominees uh, four that were made in may three in june one that dates back to march um, and then another three just from august what's holding them up then you're, 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 you're talking about 11, which is a, not a huge number when you're talking about 60 openings. And additionally, they're, they're, being, they're, they're being vetted, and you're saying June, and it's August. So that's not a long period of time when the front office, the governor's office, takes a year to do their vetting. And we can't be expected to do it at the drop of a dime. But uh, there are a variety of reasons uh, that people are not on the agenda just that yet, but it's not an extraordinary number. And I think it's, uh, you know, we're doing, you, you get, you got a variety of different factors that are, that are slowing the process up. And I think you got to ask the executive branch as well, but I can tell you that our process is moving very, very quickly and we're moving as quick as we can to put people that are qualified on the bench. Is one of those factors, Senator, senatorial courtesy? I looked back, uh, it looks like that was put in place back when we had just one senator representing each county. Now, with the redrawing of district lines and such, you can have up to four senators in some cases um, covering any particular county the way that it, it spans now. Is it not time to reform that? Well, sometimes it's more. But I believe that the process that we have in place is an excellent one for screening judges who receive seven year terms and then lifetime tenure regarding positions. They don't have to face the voters. They do have to face the Senate. All right. Senate President Nick Scutari, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thanks.